We've got two weather alerts in the next three days, so make sure you have a way to get watches, warnings, or advisories. Our weather app is a great place to start. Today, the storms luckily did not materialize out in the hill country, although for a while there, you were under a level one of five severe weather risk. No more risk at this point. 76 degrees outside right now after a high of 83. It is incredibly humid, and at some point, that humidity will wring itself out in the form of rain and storms. Tomorrow, clouds giving way to sunshine, soaring to 90 degrees. Afternoon to evening, possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. That's weather alert number one. Friday, a quieter day, high temperatures in the 80s. Saturday, a strong cold front coming through funneling in what could be inches of rain. Here's weather alert number two Saturday afternoon through Saturday night because of flood concerns. Here's a look at two different computer models suggesting that there could be some pockets of one to two to three plus inches of rain. The majority of this all falling from about Saturday late afternoon through the pre-dawn hours on Sunday. And here is said cold front. It is a very slow mover and it's going to bring us multiple rounds of storms. So let's start with tomorrow. Level two of five severe thunderstorm threat for the Hill Country. Level one for Austin. My biggest concerns are going to be hail, which could potentially be very large as in two inch in diameter or larger. That is our main threat, our main concern for tomorrow. The storms could fire up as early as around 4 p.m. So we start tomorrow morning with clouds, lots of muggy air. We break out into sunshine. The more sunshine, the more instability. First storms could fire out in Mason County, maybe around 4 o'clock to 5 or 530 through the eastern hill country, maybe toward the I-35 corridor between about 7, 8, 9 o'clock. It does look like the storms will weaken as they progress to the south and east. Then we get a breather on Friday. Friday, some patchy showers can't be ruled out, maybe a rogue storm, and we head our way into Saturday. If you've got morning plans Saturday, that's the best time because it'll probably just be patchy drizzle. But then after lunchtime is when things really start to change. We're in a level two of four severe thunders or not severe thunderstorm threat, a level two of four large or heavy rain threat. Easy for me to see, and this is exactly why, as you can see, through the evening hours, we could potentially be watching heavy rain, which may in turn result in flooding. I've got a 100% chance of rain Saturday evening and overnight. Behind that, cooler, drier, less humid Sunday, high of only 68. We'll be right back.